blah 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 I never know how to start videos anymore I just sit here like sitting for 20 minutes my cat is crying Bibi no need to cry come here Um, I haven't done anything to my hair for like three days, so this is the result of not brushing my hair or anything my hair for like three days. So don't judge me, I'm lazy. Also, I put my Christmas tree up because it is Christmas now and I love Christmas because it's the most wonderful time of the year and Christmas is my favourite and I'm really excited for Christmas this year. and. Christmas. Basically, I love animals, in case you didn't know. I love them. I love them so much. Animals are the best thing to ever exist, and I love them lots. My dream in life is just to have lots of pets. Like, that's all I want. I want hedgehogs, I want a gecko, I want a tortoise, I want a bunny rabbit, I want a doggy. I want, I want lots of animals, like I love them so so much. And the other day while browsing the interwebs I found a quiz called like what pet should I get or something like that. So I'm going to do some quizzes here and now to help me decide which animal I want to get next. But yeah this is obviously just for fun and to see which animal the internet thinks I should get based on answers that I give to questions. I don't know. Um, I'm going to move over so then I can put it that yeah yeah okay quick time player quick time player okay new no i clicked the wrong damn thing new screen recording record my screen which pet should you have um shouldn't that be what pet should you have what i don't know what is your attention span like? I'm great at multitasking, I get distracted easily, I can focus on one thing for a long period of time, but I'm not great at multitasking. I'm okay at multi- no I'm not. Mm, am I? I'm gonna say I can focus on one thing for a long period of time. Where do you live? In the country, small town or a city? Um, I don't live in the country, I don't really live in a small town. Um, but I don't live in a city either, so, um, why is this such a hard question? I don't live in London, but I kind of live on the outskirts of London, so it's still quite, like, built up, but not as built up as London. I don't, I don't know, I don't know. Um, should I say, I'm gonna say the city, because it's not a small town. Um, how many hours a week do you work? <laughs> Let's skip that one. What is your five year plan? Um, I don't know. I don't even know where I will be next year. I like stability, so I'll probably be in the same town. Um, move to a new city and get a new, better paying job. Move to the country. I have no idea where I'll be this time next year, um, but I doubt I will move out of this town. So I'm gonna say I like stability. What is your most prized possession? Designer shoes, nope. Um, my furniture, nope. My iPhone, <laughs> my iPhone broke, so no. There's an advert, go away. No, 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 I clicked the advert, oopsies. My iPhone, my iPhone broke um, a few weeks ago, so no. Um, my cookware, no. My car, I don't have a car. I don't know, I'm not that materialistic, I don't think. Um, am I? I don't think so. I'm going to say my iPhone because when my iPhone broke, I was actually really, really upset. And I kept saying, this is the only phone I've ever loved. So yeah, I'm going to say my iPhone. <laughs> what grosses you out the most? Cleaning up puke, poop, pee, or none of the stuff. Vomit. I can't deal with vomit at all. It's ugh, I can't can't deal with it. What social media do you use the most? Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, Snapchat, none. I'm say either Snapchat or Instagram. I don't know. Probably Instagram, I would say. Um which word best describes your personality? I'm gonna say faithful. Because I am rather fearful. My best friend is a homebody, a partier, a good listener, always available, sometimes distant, 100% perfect. Well, she is 100% perfect. She is always available. 
If your house caught fire and you could only grab one thing, what would it be? Family photos, computer, new clothes, grandma's cookbook, keys, nothing, get out of there. Um, family photos, because they're like the only thing that you can't replace. What's your breakfast like? I'm a really fussy eater and I don't have the best diet in the world. Um, and I don't know, I've got like appetite issues. Um, <laughs> And my appetite in the morning is just like awful, so I have to eat in the morning because otherwise I feel sick, but I can't like have a meal. So I'm gonna say fruit and toast and OJ, even though I would just have the toast. Um, a pet is a huge commitment and responsibility. Are you ready to tie the knot with another creature for the next several years? Yes. Yes, I'm very, very committed to an animal. If you could go to one of these places, where would you go? Um, I don't like travelling. <laughs> I hate planes, I hate cars, I hate trains. What other mode of transport is there? I don't like travelling. Um, but if I did like travelling and like the journey wasn't an issue, out of all of those places, I would probably say, hooey wee. Your best friend accidentally breaks your favourite sculpture, what do you do? Freak out, that was expensive, make her replace it but it won't be easy to find, forget, forget it, things happen, laugh it off but feel annoyed. If my best friend did break something that was really important to me, I would probably just laugh and think it was really funny and then make her pay for it. Um, so I'm gonna say laugh it off but feel annoyed because that's what I think we would do. What is your best quality? Adaptability? No. Seeing the silver lining in tough situations? No. Loyalty? Yes. Low maintenance? No. <laughs> Strength? I'm gonna say loyalty. What drives you? Making money, finding happiness, love, achieving my biggest goals, living a comfortable life. Living a comfortable life because that's all I really want. Choose an option, a laser pointer, a bell, a carrot, a ball. I can't be bothered to do that. <laughs> um, I guess they're talking about different things that an animal would play with. So like a laser pointer is for a cat. A bell is a bird, a carrot is for a rabbit, and a ball is for a dog. So if that is how it goes, then I'm gonna say a ball for a doggy. What's most important to you about your home? I like that my room is a very comfortable bedroom. Your best friend knows you better than anyone. How would they describe you to someone they were trying to set you up with? Beautiful, charming, goofy, high maintenance or low maintenance? Well, I would hope that she would say that I'm beautiful, um, but she would probably sound goofy and I would have to agree. You're spending a day outdoors. Um, outdoors makes me feel anxious, so great. What does that look like to you? Sunbathing in a clean green park, exploring a shady beautiful forest, anything I can get, a river, a beach, staying by the pool. Um, well, I don't have a pool. I'm gonna say sunbathing in a clean green park because I do like the sun when it's not too hot, obviously. What is your favourite outfit to wear? All black, colourful and with a lot of accessories. A faux, a, a faux fur vest? A bit, um, okay. Something sporty, a glittery dress with some jewellery. All black. I'm not very adventurous on my clothes. Okay, that's it. You should have a cat. It's perfect because I already have one. Um, what is your age? I am 22. What is your gender? I am female. Would you rather vacation at the beach? Near colourful rocks and cliffs? I'm going to say at the beach. What kind of lifestyle do you lead? Fast and furious? Um, no. Hectic but under control? Um, no. Routine orientated? Yes. I just kind of go with the flow. I'm gonna say routine orientated. How often do you do chores around the house? Um, I have daily things that I need to do.
when you feel angry, you take a deep breath and count to 10. Um, keep some things to yourself, but often open up to people about your displeasure. Calm up and walk away. Walk right up to the offender. Shoot the... <laughs> Or shoot the ever. Um, I'm gonna say, I don't know, I, <laughs> in my brain, that's what I do. Um, but I normally just come up and walk away. Yeah, your style is buttoned up, professional and classic. Um, no. Casual, comfortable, dressed down. Yes. I'm gonna say casual, comfortable and dressed down. You find family life immensely gratifying, satisfying within limits. Restrictive and somewhat irritating, comforting, um, nauseating, um, comforting. I love my family and I love being around people that I love, obviously. When you need to calm down, you go work out at the gym. No. Um, sit and look at something peaceful like nature scenes. Do breathing exercises and meditate. Vent to a friend and have some chocolate. Yes. Go up to the nearest clock tower and go on a shooting rampage. Wow. Um, I would say I vent to a friend and have some chocolate. How many pets have you had before? Um, okay, let's count fish as one pet, um, even though we've got quite a lot. Um, let's do fish. We've got a cat. We had a dog. We had a rabbit. Um, I've had three hamsters. So. Mm, we had chickens, um, we had five chickens but let's count them as one, um, we had fish when we were younger, that's nine, is that all the pets that we had? I think that's everything, let's say seven to ten. What kind of learner are you primarily? Um, I am very visual. When you start a new hobby you go at it full force and then burn out after a while. Consider the amount of time and energy you are able to put into it. Um, get all the supplies needed and try my best. Work at it in spurts. Sniff the glue in the kit. I consider the amount of time and energy that I have. Um, submit my answers. What kind of pet should you own? A fish. Depending on your personality, you might go as small as a better fish interesting or as big as your own koi pond okay so two quizzes down and i've got the two pets that i already have so great let's try this one which exotic pet should you own and hopefully i'll get something other than a cat or a fish how much time do you want to spend caring for a pet i want this pet to be my whole life because animals are my whole life and yeah they mean a lot to me um do you want a cuddly pet um I mean, it's not essential. I have a cat for cuddles, and she gives great cuddles. Um, and I have fish that you can't cuddle at all, so... I don't know. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. I like something soft and furry, if not cuddly, because, yeah. How do you feel about the outdoors? Um, <laughs> I prefer to stay indoors. <laughs> Are you a prankster? Not really, I don't think. Um, are you adventurous or more of a homebody? Um, the only reason why I'm not adventurous is because of anxiety and if I didn't feel anxious then I feel like I would be. But I'm still going to say I'm a homebody because I do love being at home. Um, six. Committed, yes or no? Yes, definitely. A kid tells you they have something cool to show you. They open their hand and it's a spider. How do you react? Um, awesome, sure, that's cool. Um, nope, nope, nope. Um, I would say sure, that's cool. How much money do you want to spend on an animal? As much as it takes to get the right animal, I would say. You walk into the kitchen and there's dirty dishes in the sink. Um, well, if you went into my kitchen right now, there would be dirty dishes in the sink. Um, very annoyed, I don't like mess, a little bit frustrated, I'll clean them up soon. Um, not super fussed, I don't mind a bit of mess. Yeah, I would say I don't really mind that much. Why do you want a pet? I want a buddy to play with, I want a partner, I want something that will make me laugh or be cute, I want to get a pet that will make me look cool. Um, I want something that will make me laugh and be cute because I love my animals because they make me laugh, even my fishies, they make me laugh and they're cute. 
Um, you adopt an animal that is very curious. Does it drive you crazy or make you laugh? Um, my cat is very curious. She jumps out of windows even though she's got arthritis and can't really jump. I mean she's very curious and it does my head in and I've got many a story to tell about when she's got herself into situations that she can't get herself out of. Like the time when she went into our neighbour's house, um, she went all the way upstairs into their house, into their bathroom, went under their bath and got herself stuck for three days I think she was in our neighbour's house. I'm gonna say a little bit of curiosity but not too much. Oh that's a cute baby! What makes you go, ah? That baby, that baby makes me go, ah. I mean, there's lots of things that make me go, ah. All animals make me go, ah, it's so cute. Um, most babies, unless they're ugly. Um, uh, uh, yeah. That was a joke, obviously. All babies are beautiful. I'm gonna say something funny, because, yeah. I like things that are cute and funny. Hold tight. What, what's my answer? What animal? Please don't say a fish. Please don't. You got a parrot! I should get a parrot! I mean, I think a parrot would do my head in with like the rah, rah, rah all the time. But I'm happy that I've got something other than a fish and a cat. My mouth is getting rather dry. Oh, it's so fizzy. <gasps> Obviously, I'm not going to get a parrot off a quiz's recommendation. But I just thought it would be something fun to do. And I will leave the links to these quizzes in the description. If you guys do these quizzes, do leave a comment down below letting me know what you got. And if you have seen any other quizzes like this that you want me to try, leave them down below and I can do them in another video. Um, do subscribe if you are new. Leave a like, a comment or whatever you want to do. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys!